So, Kathy, we know that two people have unfortunately died from this. But uh, what are South Korean authorities doing to contain the virus? Well, Zane, with this news of the two deaths, they have stepped up the efforts to try to stop this from spreading any further. In the past week, we were talking about dozens of people quarantined, and now, as you mentioned, almost 700 have been quarantined. The president herself admitted that there were insufficiencies when it came to the initial response of health authorities, and now they are working hard, having emergency government meetings and set up a task force to do everything they can to stop the disease spreading any further. We also know that one of the people who ended up being diagnosed with MERS ended up leaving the country and is now in China. So, of course, fears of that spreading across borders. And there are moves, suggestions from health officials that the government should do more to stop people who are currently under quarantine from leaving the country. And, and Kathy, you mentioned that President Park said that there were insufficiencies in terms of how it was handled during the early stages. So what did authorities do wrong exactly? the initial spread. The, this came from a man who had been traveling to the Middle East. He came back to Korea. He was feeling unwell, and later it became clear that he did have MERS. Now, most of the people who have since contracted the virus can be linked back directly to him. So the suggestion there is that not enough was done to contain that first patient and then to quarantine the other people who had come in contact with him. The fear now is that two of the latest cases out of the 25 are not linked to that first patient. They're actually linked to someone who contracted the virus from him. So, of course, the fear is that that disease is spreading further, and then they don't want it at all to get out of control of course, what officials are saying is that they are expecting more cases to be reported, but that so far they are contained to people who had some kind of contact to a medical facility. So they hope that they are not going to be reporting this spreading in the general public. Yeah, it's all about trying to contain the virus uh, in the early stages. So this is a relatively new virus. We, saw, we first saw headlines about it um, back in 2012, so just three years ago. Just give us a sense of how contagious it is and how high the death rate is. Well, scientists are still trying to figure out how people contract it to begin with, but obviously it is a virus now spreading person to person. It does have a relatively high fatality rate. According to the CDC, about three to four people out of every 10 die, and there is no vaccine and no cure. So that's a lot of what is causing this alarm zing. No vaccine, no cure. Uh, certainly people are worried over there. Uh, as you mentioned, two people now dead. Let's hope that the virus is contained. ISIS using water as a weapon. Islamic State militants have closed a major dam, shutting off water to pro-government towns in western Iraq, prompting families to evacuate the region. Jihadists have shut down all 26 gates of a dam in Ramadi, causing widespread concerns of an impending humanitarian crisis. According to residents, militants are opening only two or three of the dam's gates for brief periods daily. The structure is located along the Euphrates River, just north of the capital of Iraq's largest province. The river previously formed a barrier between the militants and pro-government forces. But with ISIS now in control of the dam, water levels have dipped significantly, making it easier for militant fighters to launch an attack by foot. The move will also prevent the river water from overflowing on the Islamic State's side of the dam, while allowing water to flow downstream toward ISIS-held Fallujah. This is not the first time the Islamic State has used water to manipulate their position. After gaining control of dams, ISIS has flooded other regions, forcing locals to evacuate.